Prototyping and quality assurance are two important aspects of software development that play a critical role in ensuring the success of a software project. Prototyping involves creating a preliminary version of a software application in order to test its functionality and features before committing to the full development process. The purpose of prototyping is to identify potential issues and make necessary adjustments before investing significant time and resources into the development process. Quality assurance, on the other hand, involves a set of processes and techniques that are designed to ensure that a software application meets specified quality standards. This includes testing the application for bugs, errors, and other issues that could affect its performance, usability, and reliability. In many ways, prototyping and quality assurance are complementary processes. Prototyping helps to identify potential issues early on in the development process, which can be addressed through quality assurance testing. There are several types of software prototypes that are commonly used in the software development process. Here are some of the most common types of software prototypes and their characteristics. Horizontal prototype. This type of prototype is designed to provide a broad overview of the system's functionality. It typically includes only the main features of the system, rather than a detailed view of individual features. An example of a horizontal prototype might be a simple website that shows the main navigation menu and key pages. Vertical prototype. A vertical prototype is designed to provide a more detailed view of individual features or functions of the system. It typically includes more specific details and functionality than a horizontal prototype. An example of a vertical prototype might be a simple mobile application that focuses on a single feature, such as a calculator app that only allows users to perform basic arithmetic operations. Throwaway prototype. A throwaway prototype is a prototype that is created solely for the purpose of testing or validating a particular concept or feature. Evolutionary prototype. This type of prototype is created with the intention of gradually evolving into the final product. It is typically refined over time through feedback from users and stakeholders. An example of an evolutionary prototype might be a web application that is continually updated based on user feedback and usage data. Incremental prototype. An incremental prototype is designed to provide a working version of the system that can be built upon in subsequent iterations. It typically includes core functionality that is expanded upon with each iteration. An example of an incremental prototype might be a web application that is initially built to handle basic user management tasks, but is gradually expanded to include additional features such as payment processing and user analytics. A wireframe can be considered as an example of a prototype. A wireframe is a visual representation of a user interface, typically in the form of a sketch or diagram, that outlines the basic structure and layout of a software application or website. A wireframe is typically considered as an example of a horizontal prototype. A horizontal prototype is a type of prototype that provides a broad overview of the system's functionality, but does not include detailed views of individual features. Wireframes are generally created in the early stages of software development to provide a visual representation of the software's user interface. They are often used to validate the overall layout and structure of the software application or website and to identify potential usability issues. While a wireframe is not a fully functioning prototype, it can be used as an effective tool to communicate ideas and to gather feedback from stakeholders. However, it should be noted that wireframes should be used in conjunction with other prototyping techniques, such as vertical or throwaway prototypes, to fully validate the design and functionality of the software application or website. There are several types of software quality assurance, QA, techniques that are used to ensure that a software application meets specified quality standards. Here are some of the most common types of software QA and their characteristics. Functional testing. Functional testing is a type of software testing that focuses on ensuring that the software application functions correctly and meets all specified requirements. This includes testing individual features and functions of the software to ensure that they operate as expected. An example of functional testing might be testing a login page to ensure that users are able to log in successfully and that their credentials are authenticated. Performance testing. Performance testing is a type of software testing that is designed to evaluate the performance of the software application under different conditions, such as high traffic or heavy usage. 
This includes testing the speed, scalability, and reliability of the software application. An example of performance testing might be simulating high traffic to a web application to ensure that it can handle a large number of concurrent users without slowing down or crashing. Security testing. Security testing is a type of software testing that focuses on ensuring that the software application is secure and protected from unauthorized access and other security threats. This includes testing for vulnerabilities and potential security risks, such as SQL injection or cross-site scripting attacks. An example of security testing might be testing a web application for vulnerabilities in its authentication and authorization systems. Usability testing. Usability testing is a type of software testing that is designed to evaluate the usability of the software application from the perspective of the end user. This includes testing the user interface, navigation, and overall user experience of the software application. An example of usability testing might be conducting user testing sessions to gather feedback on the ease of use and effectiveness of a new mobile application. Regression testing. Regression testing is a type of software testing that is designed to ensure that changes made to the software application do not negatively impact existing functionality. This includes retesting previously tested features and functions of the software application to ensure that they still operate as expected after changes have been made. <laughs>